Alrighty, so it looks like we have a leak out of Six Flags Great America, and oh my goodness, I was not expecting this. I'm gonna say a lot of things, and I'm gonna trigger a lot of people. Understand that I'm just ranking a coaster that was announced. I'm not saying that a park is better than another park or a chain is better than another chain. So if you're easily triggered in that sense, this is not the video for you. I have some very strong opinions about this coaster and what it's doing to the Six Flags chain. And uh, I don't want to trigger anyone that is not ready to be triggered. Now, with that being said, it looks like Max Horse or Six Flags Great America has been announced. It's an SNS launched coaster by the looks of it. Um, and it looks incredible. It looks absolutely incredible. It's not the most aesthetic coaster. I mean, it, it's not like the prettiest coaster out there. It's no B&M. But this is better than Yukon Striker. This is probably going to be better than the mock double launch coaster coming to Carowinds. And this is a unique custom layout for Six Flags. I mean, this is phenomenal to see. I'm actually now starting to be like, is this Six Flags year? We already have, you know, the giant Frisbee going to Six Flags Great Adventure. We have Max Force going to Six Flags Great America. And now we have that Six Flags Magic Mountain coaster that's gonna be announced very shortly. This is definitely Six Flags this year. Hands down, there is no way this is a Cedar Fair year for the Golden Ticket Awards. This is a Six Flags year. Six Flags is really blowing us out of the water. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know if anyone else was expecting this. I wasn't. This looks phenomenal. Like, look at that element. I'm like, I'm like speechless. This thing looks absolutely insane. And I feel like I now have to make a trip to this park next year because this coaster, like, look at that little bunny hop out of the launch. Then you go into this weird, like, element. Um, I, I'm just like, I'm, I'm literally reacting to this video right now as you guys are. I'm just like, I really was not expecting Six Flags to announce a custom coaster. I was expecting some clones of coasters they already have. I was expecting Sky Warps. I was expecting, you know, Full Throttle, um, at, you know, one of the parks, uh, stuff like that. This is phenomenal. Um, this is great news for any Six Flags park or Six Flags fan out there. This means Six Flags is going back into custom coasters. And uh, 2020, 2021, I have a feeling it's only going to get better because their sales are doing great. The parks are doing great. Attendance is increasing. So this is definitely Six Flags' year for 2019. And who knows? Uh, this might trigger like the whole coaster wars all over again. I bet Cedar Fair is watching this and uh, quaking right now. They, they are... Uh, Definitely not probably, they probably were not expecting this either. Anyways, this looks phenomenal. Uh, anyone who's a Six Flags Great America fanboy, congratulations. This absolutely blew me out of the water. And depending on what Six Flags Magic Mountain announces, this could take the Golden Ticket Award. Although I think Six Flags Magic Mountain might announce something a little better, but who knows? It's between this or Six Flags Magic Mountain in my opinion. Quotations, my opinion. Um, but yeah, super exciting. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. Have a good one, guys. Bye.